well, especially for me, because I got the opportunity to watch Guild up close during the grid. They started phenomenally back then, uh, same as they did last week, actually. But it seems to be that some point during that second series, they get a little bit too excited. They see what's going right for them, and they try and almost overdo what's going right for them. And it starts to drop off. Let's see whether or not they can try and hold on to that middle ground this time around as they take on a bastard esports team that has been on fire. A little bit of a rough week regarding yeah. field and grid results, but still definitely a very tough team to take down. I was definitely looking forward to watching uh, Barca a little bit more this week, especially considering uh, last week's games. And I wanted to see them, I believe, take on Magnifico, who I thought was just an absolute rock in the midfield as that ball's pinched all the way to the other side. Off the post and out. The demo from Tho trying to secure the goal, but the shot wide. And I'm curious to see. Uh, obviously, Guild is not Magnifico, but I think uh, a defensive master in Scrub Kill is a good test for what this offense can do. Tachi looks to set it up for Ronaki. He's the shooter of this team and didn't quite have the fire on that one that we're typically used to seeing. Scrub over to Tho. Back over to Scrub. Looks to take the shot. Ronaki has him covered. I think the pass was a bit far away from him, however. The big thing is that Scrub was able to steal one of the 100 boosts. If they were able to keep that pressure on, Barca could have been in a tough spot. Instead, it's now Barca looking for their opportunity to shoot. Wow. Oh, Booming clear from Atachi. I mean, uh, from Nolly. And it's a, a very welcome touch as well. Clears like that where you sort of get caught in transition and you've only got one guy really set on defense and, and you're able to get clears like that out of your corner. I mean, that just buys you so much time and, and peace of mind in terms of defensive positioning. Quick skim for the nose of Scrub Killer. Goes off the defense. It kissed though. Just kissed him right here. Straight towards the middle and Devo doesn't get it into the corner and Scrub Killer just ate it alive. It was pretty much the shot that was perfect for that situation. If you try and put it any further to the side, very likely that the save can be much easier for Devo. Instead, he's got to try and hit it with the rear end of his car, which can't really get any real force to clear it into somewhere safe. It's already the start that you want to see if you're a Guild fan. Scrub ends up leaving it for Foe. We'll stay in the air. And he's going to still chase it. There's a lot of boost used for very little result as Nolly will watch this one. He was going to go in. Would have been in much earlier. So far, both teams very capable of blasting a ball very accurately to a midfield teammate. Going to see Ronicky try and chase down Foe. Doesn't want to give him anything. I already saw from Ronicky last week that he doesn't need the best angle. He just needs an angle. An angle. And he will <laughs> tend to put it past you. And actually, Ronicky decided to pull off that challenge there and let him just hit it straight towards the wall and Barca doing a good job putting, Ooh. like, pressure on Guild, but it's never really turning into a shot opportunity. Ronicky one-on-one, and he will just go for it. <laughs> the best possible defensive strategy, if only it worked in actual ones games. <laughs> <laughs> Ronicky looks to come in. Him and Atachi both combining wow. for a good pinch, and it's another huge clear. Guild Esports, and again, not necessarily... And again. <laughs> yeah, they're not overcomplicating this. But if you're going to keep giving it to them on the back boards, you are also giving up the half volley opportunity for whoever's back there. Yeah. And Guild have been very happy with that so far. Especially with those boost deals, it's definitely forcing Barca to kind of just launch the ball up the pitch and try and chase it down because they need some more time to get some boost. And Devo will take his time here. We'll see if it delivers. Nope, those there swipes it away and they're going to get pushed back again probably here. Guild still up one to nothing. Oh, didn't get the best touch. He's over to Ronicky. He's decided to be fancy with it, and Scrub Killer will take the ball away. Still good pressure here for Barca Esports. Scrub Killer over to Nolly. Goes for the shot, and it's in. Ooh. Ronicky, I mean, it looked like he was in a pretty good spot. He had time to grab the corner boost. Saw it coming the whole way. Just perfect. He hit the brakes a little bit to try and give himself an opportunity if it was shot behind him. And it was that little touch on the brakes from Ronicky that allowed that shot from Nolly to make it all the way to the back post because Ronicky just didn't want to commit. I mean, on the off chance he's wrong, he wants to have as many options as possible. He forced Nolly to hit a perfect shot, and he did. Oh, they're going to go for another one. Nolly continues his shooting excellence. He got eight earlier on against Solary in the grid. He's got two here now in game number one. Oof. 
and Itachi. Banger. Laid by a mile as well to that challenge. Just didn't really figure that anyone would be going for it. And you're absolutely right. That is a 100% banger from Nali. And this is very much following the same script uh, that we got during the grid achieves. Guild looking very good, very comfortable in their first game. They looked very good in their second game of the grid against Triple Trouble. They ended up getting reverse swept in it. This will be the test about whether or not those adaptations have been made. Can they keep themselves on the same line of four? Oh my goodness, Ronicky. Whew. Wow. Makes There's the warning stop. for you. It's still got pressure. This is off one shot out of nowhere oh, from Ronicky. And he has almost split this defense in half. Attachi looks to keep the pressure on off the backboard. And the foe will clear over to Nolly, who doesn't quite have the boost, doesn't need it. Is it going to be free to nothing? No, couldn't get that off the wave dash. Man. A little bit of a scare. A little bit of a scare, but great defense overall from Guild Scrub and Nolly combining to make some big defensive touches. And they will indeed walk away with a game one win. I mean, it was pretty much a foregone conclusion when it became 3 0 so late in the game. But man, love Nolly's defense out of the corners in that game. A lot of big boomers from Barca towards the walls, and Nolly delivered in pretty much every scenario offense, defense, got it all done. And Scrub Killer may walk away with the MVP, but just by one. And if you are on Guild side, though, as a fan, I think what is. Phenomenal defensive plays to try and shut Ronicky down. Uh, you get the feeling that if Barca can just increase the amount of opportunities they are getting on net, some of them are going to start slipping through because there was only three real opportunities for them there. Two of them fell to the one that they wanted it to. And of course, you also got to worry about how much Guild was able to steal a lot of those corner boosts out of that Barca side. Whenever uh, Guild would get a big clear up the pitch, they would just race up there and steal away a corner boost and just fall back. And it was really hampering Barca's ability to get ball control, uh, set up a, maybe some air dribble attempts or really anything that is going to require a significant amount of boost in the tank other than just a bomb up the pitch. So... Uh, Gil doing a good job with overall map pressure combined with some phenomenal defensive touches. Uh, it's going to be tough for anyone to beat you when you play like that. Yeah, if you're if you're Guild, you want every single game now to look like that one because there's no way you're not going to give Barca a couple of shots uh, that they could very well put in. But if you can limit it to what Barca got in that game, you will end up being pretty happy with it. However, for Barca, I got to agree with you. Boost control is absolutely paramount heading into game number two, especially when you see the members on their team attaching Devo, especially. <laughs> Could use it, but Ronicky is very happy with the 33 he is given at the start of the game. Nothing need be said about this. Devo makes the proper read about Scrub Killer's approach. Ronicky with a little bit of a buffer to make sure it gets the way it needs to go, and a perfect kickoff from Barca to start things off. Well, they are on the board now. Didn't score in the first game. I've already got one in the second. So already over the top. There's a lot of style, but very little substance to what was gained. I was really wondering if he was trying to go for that ceiling pinch and then it would punch his car back so he'd get a flip reset and turn it into something wicked, but just never going to happen. We are starting to turn Rocket League goals into just ways that you would describe <laughs> skateboard tricks. It <laughs> yes, is. we really are. We, we're going to start random shorting words. some of these. <laughs> <laughs> Rodaki looking to try and dive in. He has actually got Devo over to him. It's a very quick challenge. Guild not giving up that midfield at all. Scrub killer already up. Flip reset. Retained as Devo just powers into him. Sometimes when we do see people threaten the flip reset, we see the defender very much respect it, try and hold back to see what happens. Devo not one of those players, as Nolly will end up putting that to the fast side. Another touch oh. also on the left. Faster get away with it. They maintain their one goal lead. Just barely. But either way, Guild looking good here. Good stuff. Scrub running a little bit of interference in the midfield. And actually, it really is just a toss up. It's a <laughs> everyone's just driving next to the ball. I don't know who's going to come down with real possession. Yeah, right now, it's really, really just win a, a proper territory. challenge yet, have we? No. Just everyone going for it. Devo levers it right down the middle. No real chances since the very first goal. And the very first goal what came to us in about four seconds. So shows just where we've been so far. Ronaki would like to go for the double tap, which has been a no-go zone. The entire backboard of Guild just 
completely unavailable, as that well, is going to drop in. Okay. <laughs> that will work. Yeah. So Itachi here, he's thinking about a challenge, gets beat, and Scrub also wins one on the sidewall. Ronaki nowhere to be seen, rotating back. He was playing aggressive, assuming that that challenge on the wall was going to go a little bit better. So all in all, Larson just caught one step too far forward. It's something to be expected, especially when the game did devolve into just who was the faster team and who could <laughs> win the challenges. Eventually, someone is going to win it clean. And in terms of who is the faster team, I, I actually think Tho has been the biggest proponent of speed over there on that Guild Esports side so far. I mean, his ability to just get up in someone's face is... Scrub was always a, a very calculated approach, but Tho is just going to drive right at you and make you make a move. And I think that's paying dividends right now for Guild in this series. Ah, so with the Devo, doesn't run onto it the way he wants to. Still being covered. Oh, to Ronaki yet again. Can't quite get there this time. And his shot is off the crossbar. Ronaki keeps getting close, but he hasn't found it from open play just yet. Drop down, Ronaki to Atachi, Atachi to Devo, Devo to Atachi oh yet again. <laughs> and I think they just sort of ran out of players eventually. It was a smart <laughs> idea. Maybe when Rocket League is 10 feet tall. Oh, oh no. no, no, no! You just, you just look so good. You're struggling to give her four passes. And then you do this. That That is exactly it. It feels like the start of something beautiful. And then <laughs> in, inside of five seconds, it gets punched over your that, head and you can't make it back. And That oh. is the most Rocket League goal I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> career. <laughs> You know, you wonder, oh, I'm great so pass, inconsistent. Pass, it happens pass, to everyone. No. <laughs> Ronaki going to be passing over to Itachi. One goal down now for Barca. As Itachi really doing a great nice. job over to Devo, who just has to go for pure power. And this just goes back to what you were saying. You know, this is kind of like the threat of the flip reset. It's the threat of when are you going to flip the ball off the wall? And it's making Scrub Killer wait there on that goal line until he knows what Atachi is going to do. And, you know, it's a well, a well known chess principle. The threat is often more powerful than the actual move itself. And that hesitation from Scrub Killer opens the door because he just doesn't know what's about to happen. Chiefs doesn't play chess against me. I'm not smart enough to realize what the threats are. <laughs> <laughs> just, just make the moves as and when I can. Very much the same as my Rocket League play style. Scrub Killer looks to try and regain that lead. So, and able to get the ball past Tachi. He's a player that is very difficult to pull off, though, those corner ones, because the player that's coming in for the shot has to be so on point with their timing, because you can just turn up and have to stop. Rob Killer looks to go fast right. and that is a great shot. Re lead re-established for Guild Esports. They look to try and go 2-0 in the series. So beats out two people with one challenge and gets the last man in an awkward position having to dodge a demo and challenge early. So basically manhandling all of Barca right there single-handedly and Scrub just had to follow behind. All oh, over to Atachi. Couldn't get there. Pass was too powerful. It's always very much about the timing. Fo, good first touch. Looks to take it by himself. He should have Scrub starting to arrive to help him, and he does. Not going to be anything after that, though, as Atachi stayed downfield. Couldn't get to it. Um, Arthur Esports really stringing together some gorgeous ideas for the passing plays. It's all been down to execution. It's another one that's going to go too high. Oh, what is Foe doing? Foe is forced Devo to make a reaction save. Well played by him. Very easy to get caught out. Foe is what just a hassle. He really yeah. is. That, that's all he does. I mean, it's that aggression, the, the raw pressure that he puts on players. is just such a valuable asset to have. Foe will keep the ball on the other side of the field. That's Tachi for the double tap. You can already see two players back there. Nolly. And Scrub right. Killer. That was never going to be the play. That was really going to work out as now there is another shot on target. <laughs> Foe won't score. Ball still up in the air. Atachi will catch it as Nolly can't oh. get there. Atachi oh. catches again. Him against Scrub. Couldn't get the flick he was after. And Guild Esports two to nothing up. There we go. Scrub Killer on defense. Of course, you'll take him in, in a one-on-one -on -one pretty much every time and maybe a quarter 
maybe three quarters of the time in a two on one and he gets it done there at the end of over uh, regulation excuse me so again the defense from scrub killer turning up big at the end the the solid follow through and like we were talking about you can never underestimate the value of good pure pressure and so put a ton of it on barca in that game and unfortunately you're right barca a lot of great ideas the the concepts are established it's just that little bit more of execution and unfortunately for itachi we were talking him up so big him and ronicky both are, are great goal scorers but just held dead quiet here against Gil. Mm, and for Barca, it really does feel like we are looking towards their performance because they've made a lot of unforced errors here. And at this level against Guild, you cannot afford to do that. So, you know, they were the team. And this is the reason why this format has worked out so well is that Guild did not look great last week. Barca looked phenomenal, but it's about consistency. It's about you doing it over and over and over again. And right now, Guild are the team that are looking to go 2-0 and o in this Swiss style bracket. Long way to go, though. A lot can happen in five minutes, and we'll see if Barca come back to life here. But for now, you got to favor Guild, Scrub, Tho, and Nolly playing like a well-oiled machine. I'm feeling that Barca have got the ideas Ooh. on point for the kickoffs. Atachi just flips it behind the challenging defender. I do not know how he's managed that. Wow, that is incredible. Wow. It's uh, the hard power slide with the touch of the brakes and just hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> that's the sort of play you typically go for and you've got to make the decision. Am I going for net or am I going for a set? Yeah. And he went for net. Well played to him because that was very easy to, uh, you know, settle for a half chance. He wanted all of it. This is the second game in a row Barca have managed to score from the first kickoff. Mm -hmm. Grub, good flick. He's got Nolly trying to help it's him. Toast, toast. There is the musty flick. Thunderous from Scrub Killer. Excellence. And look at Nolly. Forces Devo away from the midfield. The delay with the backflip. And yes, the perfect musty flick finish. I mean, Scrub Killer and Nolly. As soon as you saw Nolly start putting pressure on Devo and you saw Scrub with the ball, you just knew that one was done. Two goals, not even 30 seconds done. Barca have dropped another early lead. This time around, very much forced against them, however. Ronicky blasts it over the backboard. Every time that they've gone for it, Guild have managed to defend it incredibly well, even getting some booming clears from one side of the field to the other. Nolly's going to start turning up for Foe. Instead, Foe goes by himself. It's a great save from Itachi. Keeps this at one each. Guild looking like the better team so far. Holding that midfield so well. Their time, Scrub Killer. Oh, he's, he's, no uh, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's just definitely not got like what he wanted that time. <laughs> oh, did they get him? Just about missed. Ronaki decides to take his time. It's dangerous, but it's worked. Already in. That's a great challenge. Not can come in. He's managed <laughs> to fake out Ronaki. Broken axles. <laughs> and Nolly has doubled it up for his team. Bye bye. So with the perfect challenge angle and Ronicky, ooh, talk about getting him on the string. <laughs> we'll see ya. <laughs> Great mind game from Nolly there. Brilliant. There we go. Two to one. Guild coming back yet again from conceding in the opening 10 seconds. Scrub. Last it long. Ronicky's gonna have to try and scramble. I keep seeing Foe downfield. He is definitely the one that's waiting for it. Yep. Nolly can't quite get the ball past Devo. This is dangerous as well because Barca have to go looking for a goal. And every time they do, it's going to leave an area for Foe to start to exploit. Oh, that pass is a little far. The execution on the clears from Barca just a little off. And here's another decision oh, wow. to be made. And Scrub Killer again just puts the defense in such an awkward position here. Well, Tachi, he had a great week last week. He would like to forget that he was put in that position against Scrub Killer. It's so Yield hard to handle. A stretching Barca in the opening two minutes. We've got to figure out something now. They've got to reverse sweep Guild. And they've just Down got two. nothing going. <laughs> they need kickoffs, basically. We just need rapid fire kickoff mode. And I really love the approach from Guild. You see how delicate these first touches are. I mean, it's it's the polar opposite of what you were seeing out of Vitality in their series where they were just 
way too strong on a lot of the first touches. Devo had the net there, and he just got on the wrong side of the ball and pushed it wide, and that was a much needed goal. Push to the corner, Scrub Killer will not be able to follow it, so Veronica, Scrub also couldn't get the 100 boost on his way back. So he'll be thankful to see Foe able to intercept the passing play. Put into action yet again. Managed to get rid of two, and it's over the top of Itachi. That is the worst thing you could have seen if you're a Barca fan. And it's all offensive pressure gone. Scrub Killer up to style one more time. He's one away from a hat trick. And not a single one of the goals have necessarily been all that basic. It actually gets locked up by Foe. Yeah, what are just all over them here? It's buying a lot of time. They're making a lot of great touches. It's an open goal. Okay, this one's done. We'll see you next time. 3 0 Guild. My goodness. Scrub Killer up to his hat trick. It's just been clean. It really has. And Guild have adapted to the lead as well as they've gone through. Let me see how many 3-0s we've had today. Let's see. A lot. Uh, we had seven in the first round. I know that. I don't know what we got so far. This one is Ronicky's going to take a shot. If Barca can get something soon, then maybe we'll maybe. be able to uh, you know, start looking into this again. The way that Guild are playing. Oh, oh okay. They, well, well, okay. Well, the, the way, way Guild, Guild are playing. Are playing. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm glad I didn't finish that sentence, really. <laughs> what on earth have oh, they done here? That was just a disaster. I mean, Scrub Killer wanted the ball to be his, so he was expecting Nolly to let that roll up the sidewall, and he was going to take it. Nolly was thinking, all right, I'll just cut this back across and dribble it up the middle. They clip wheels. Nobody gets anything done. So it was just like, what are you two doing? And Devo scored the ball. <laughs> Nolly already downfield. Devo clears. Now Barca are back within a shout of this. It is a long shout. It's going to be a good challenge from Devo. Out of boost now, though. Hitachi for the backboard. First time it's not been covered in a very long time. Still can't get anything for it. Keep booming this. It's not been the right decision to make against Guild. They are so quick with the transition. Oh, They're going to oh. take another shot. And there we go. Three goal lead reestablished. Scrub Killer has got three. Nolly has got two. And Guild should be moving on to the qualifying rounds. And, and Ronic, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why Ronicky followed Tachi into that corner. I mean, obviously, you can always make the argument of he's just trying to beat the defenders so that they can get the ball moving upfield, but... I mean, at the end of the day, what's it really accomplish? Because you punch that ball at the field, nobody's in position, so you might as well just wait and let Itachi try and fight it out. But either way, trying to make something happen goes horribly wrong. Three goals down with 30 seconds. The Guild deserved this one, heck. Barca not as clean as we have got used to seeing them. We do know that their results fell off a little bit midweek. Didn't know quite how it was going to really make any much of an effect coming into the, this weekend. But this one has been all guild. Thoroughly worthy of the Trio victory. They have now got three opportunities to move through to Sunday's playoffs. Guild take it in a sweep. Good games. I mean, well deserved. I mean, I got everything I wanted out of guild. It's like, all right, let's see the communication work out. Less stagnant. You got a lot more ball control from Guild, let the mechanics from Scrub and, and Nolly and Tho come through and really exercise a lot of pressure. Uh, decent enough challenges. I mean, I don't feel like they were really put through their paces on defense very often, except in that game one where they just had to handle a lot of strong touches towards the backboard. But after that, I mean, it really felt like Guild just never let up on the gas pedal and Barca is just sitting there scratching their heads. I think scratching their heads is a very good way to describe it as well, because Barca came in with a game plan. They were trying to execute and it was not working. And when we asked them, OK, what's the secondary game plan? What are you going to do to adapt to put Guild on the back foot? It wasn't there. It was kind of <laughs> aimless, wasn't it? It was, OK, we are going to launch the ball. What are you doing after that? Mm. We are going to launch the ball and uh. <laughs> figure it out after that. But it is Guild moving on to the next round. It's very much an improved performance from last week. And when we come back after our next break, it is going to be moving on to the qualifying round for some and elimination round for others. We are really starting to get into the thick of it.